had quite a few people ask me how I mounted my high lift jack to my LJ. So this is a good opportunity with the top off to show you what I'm doing. This right here is uh, a two inch exhaust clamp. It's got a rubber um, piece of tubing around the piece that goes around the roll bar. So I put that there, attached it with two nuts. You could do a washer and a nut if you'd like. The nuts just came with it uh, at the store that I got it from. So you put your nuts there and on this side, I've got a flat washer and a wing nut that's on there uh, on each side. And they're just put through the holes in the base of this uh, high lift mount. This is a 48 inch high lift that I have mounted here on the side. And to attach it on this side, I just, I don't have a hard top on this. I only have a soft top. So the top rail is not really needed for the hard top or for the soft top rather, just for the hard top. So I was able to put this 90 degree angle bracket on it right here. So I, I attached that through the bottom of the railing up underneath with a, uh, a nut and a washer. And on this side, I just did a uh, nut with a built-in washer on it there. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it goes through the holes on the high left and it's just uh, put in there um, hand tight. Doesn't rattle or anything. This is the back of the, the bolt. I'm not sure what size bolt that would be, maybe inch, inch and a half bolt but if i press the jack up against if i push it against the body it's easy to take this off by hand but right now it's it's on there pretty pretty tight so um like i said i can push it against it here by hand and take it off if i wanted to so and then the this is just a cheap harbor freight lock that i have through here uh through the the jack itself so like i said this is a 48 inch um you could not fit a 60 inch this way uh there's probably a way to do it um if you could figure it out great but uh you couldn't really do a 60 inch this way but this is my 48 inch high lift jack there so uh, if you have any questions uh let me know in the comments down below um i'll show you this shot from the other side but i did this um months and months ago when i first got the silver jeep and then now the the blue rubicon so hopefully uh you guys like this idea and decide to do it it's very very secure for your passengers it's not going to come off um if you get rear-ended it's not going to shoot forward or anything like that it's attached in there pretty darn solid doesn't rattle at all so i highly recommend it it's a good way to store it inside the vehicle so it doesn't get any kind of salt or uh weather rust or anything it doesn't have the weather the elements so um there it is so if you have any questions let me know for those on youtube uh, you could see i took the roll bar padding off of the jeep uh, posted on instagram if you saw that but um took this off it was pretty deteriorated and nasty um i like it how it looks it's it's great um for some people who are asking these are places to hang your clothes and jacket hooks whatever um, previous owner put those on I just left them They're not that big of a deal not in the way or anything so there's the the Jeep this morning so Sunday morning beautiful out here in Kentucky somebody was asking me about the high lift so I thought I'd show how I mounted it in there all right guys take care